Hi, this is Dr. Tom Rogers at Performance Medicine coming to you with a weekly podcast. I call it the Common Sense MD. Today, I'm going to be talking about a supplement that I love and take. Um, you know, I'm always talking about building muscle as you age. And, you know, a concern at my age and most of my patients' ages is that they want to stay healthy. They want to do preventative medicine. They don't want to fall. You know, they want to build muscle, which burns fat, um, stay lean and strong. So I'm going to talk about a really nice little supplement that you may have, may or may not have heard of called HMB, hydroxymethylbutyrate. Now, this is not to be confused with another supplement called BHB, which is beta-hydroxybutyrate. Um, think of... Most people, when they say butyrate, are thinking about really the beta-hydroxybutyrate, the ones you see in exogenous ketones, the ones that's more associated with weight loss. You know, your body produces ketones in your colon if you're on a really low-carb diet, and you can measure those. But um, that is another good supplement that, I, that I'll talk about, that I've talked about. But this is a muscle-building supplement called hydroxymethylbutyrate, HMB. And I'll tell you what it's good combined with at the end of this podcast. So this is a supplement that builds muscle, but it's also used for other purposes. You know, I, I took a deep dive on this thing, and it was really interesting what all it, the benefits that you can get from this supplement. Um, and it's very inexpensive. This chemical which is produced in small amounts in our bodies anyway through foods, certain foods that we eat, uh, really results from the breakdown of leucine. You've heard me talk about leucine as one of the essential amino acids, one of the non-essentials. It's one of the branched chain amino acids, which, of course, you hear uh, exercisers and weightlifters taking. Um, so... It's leucine is one of those essential amino acids that's responsible for muscle gaining. Um, so, so many people take it because it's in your body. It's only produced or transferred from leucine in very small amounts. So, most people really need to take a supplement of this that are getting older and losing muscle. Um, so that's why they they take it. So. People that take this, it's purported that they have more muscle growth, um, but more importantly, decrease muscle loss. I think that's what the key is. Um, I, I reviewed a lot of studies, around 90 of them, and a lot of them, of course, are inconclusive. You have pros, you have cons, um, but the ones I looked at, um, probably it works better rather than increasing muscle is, which it does, but it decreases muscle loss, which is very important as you age. Um, it works better for muscles, building muscles in untrained individuals and older people, probably because of this muscle prevention of the breakdown. So very important. Um, so rather than promoting growth, uh, although there are studies that affirm muscle growth, um, more importantly, prevention of muscle breakdown. Now, how does this work? It really works by suppressing certain genes and enzymes that promote muscle protein breakdown. Um, one analysis is, and I think there are, I mean, 15 studies, they, they combine 15 studies and look the, at the effects of over 2,000 people who had health conditions, uh, debilitating conditions that like cancer, HIV, kidney failure, malnutrition, and these conditions that naturally promote muscle loss. And what they found was significantly more effective than placebo at preventing muscle loss. Uh, and some of the studies in athletes and healthy adults showed improved aerobic and anaerobic capacity um, so and better recovery, probably 
through reducing some of these inflammatory markers that we talk about a lot. So they can measure it, and they did measure it, like TNF-alpha and interleukin-8. They were decreased when you use this supplement, uh, HMB. Um, they've also studied it for age-related mental decline. Um, you know, I've always thought that maintaining muscle as you age is the key to a lot of things, to keeping healthy, vibrant. Definitely muscle is related to your balance, your proprioception that I talk about a lot, preventing falls. Um, increased muscle increases your energy levels. It decreases frailty, and it decreases mental decline, direct measurements with muscle. Um, I mean, how many times have you seen somebody in decline that, was, that had muscle? Hardly ever. Um, so, you know, in looking at a lot of these studies, there, there, there were studies that showed, well, it didn't do a lot, it, and studies that showed it did significantly. Two unquestioned things that it, that it did help was grip strength. And if you remember, I talked about grip strength as being the best measurement of how strong you are as you age. So it definitely increased grip strength. And also, the other thing that stood out, it increased knee muscularity, knee extension. So those are two things you need to think about, certainly, as you age. Um, so, you know, I've all, always associated HMB with fat loss. And in a recent 2003 study published in Nutrients, uh, that's a famous journal for nutritionists, uh, HMB, along with vitamin D supplements, um, it supported reductions in fat loss. You know, I'm huge on vitamin D over anything D with K you should be taking. Uh, but when they combined HMG, HMB with it, then it really helped uh, support, it made it like a fat burner. Um, there's a lot of things you think of as fat burners, um, like black pepper, cayenne pepper, um, all kinds of things, you know, piperine. You think of... Um, stimulation of muscles to burn fat. So there's a lot of supplements. Forskolin's another one that, I, that I'll use for that. AMPK is another one. Um, so don't think of HMB as a weight loss supplement. Think of it as a muscle building supplement. Um, you know, there's really not a substitution for working out. There's no supplement that will beat working out. And part of your workouts just have to be weight training. And whether you're using body weight, flex bands, dumbbells, I don't care. You need to put some stress or some weight on your muscles and your joints. Remember, you build muscle from the capsule out. It strengthens the capsule, prevents injuries. Um, but, you know, as an older person, you know, I know as you age, you lose muscle fast. It's not something that creeps up on you. You lose muscle fast. I mean, look at somebody that's in the hospital, bed fast for three days. They lose a ton of muscle. So you constantly have to be moving and working on your muscle because we lose, we lose it as we age. That's another reason, of course, for hormone supplementation. Um, that's one of the main reasons you want to do bioidentical hormones, male and female. Um, so think of HMG, HMB uh, along with creatine. You know, I've, I've talked about um, creatine is a great supplement that's very safe. There's a lot of controversy about creatine. All the people that lift weights take it, or most of them do. I certainly have taken it for years. It's not going to hurt your kidneys. Um, go back to my podcast that I did on creatine um, a few months ago. So... Um, I think, you know, everybody's heard of creatine, but not many people even think about HMG or HMB. I think it's really going to be a good um, combination with creatine. And, you know, I'm going to, matter of fact, I'm going to work on that, maybe making my own combination of that as I make my own vitamins. So how much should you take? Anywhere from one and a half to three grams daily. Um, very safe, for, even for long-term use. Uh, minimal side effects advice stay hydrated and take it with food 
and preferably you can take it any time, but I like to take it before a workout. I think it kind of helps your workout. So think about HMB as a supplement for muscle building and probably a lot of other stuff. So do your own research, like I always tell you. Um, there could be some good combinations coming pretty soon uh, for HMB and creatine. So I hope this is helpful. Uh, you can add that to your armamentarium as you uh, age and you want to prevent that muscle loss. I will see you next week. Thanks. This is Dr. Tom Rogers at the Common Sense MD. Mm -hmm.